Good morning, everybody. Before I go over the new long positions for Thursday, I first want to make mention that my stock picker is broken short term. The past nine sessions have not been good for me. Now, if you go to Stock Twitch, you'll see that I'm going to profile a few stocks that I bought a long time ago that are doing fine, like IMGN up 135%, VRTX up 23%, MYGN up 55%, DVAX is up 33% for me in two weeks, AX Systems up 29% for me in three weeks, ZGNX is now up 84% in four and a half months, SYN is now up 35%. So clearly, with the stocks I'm already long, I'm doing fine. There is a lot of churning right now. I'm spending 20 to $30 in commissions every day. For the past nine sessions, as we turn and do the same typical summer shit that I've gotten used to for the past umpteen years that I've been doing this. But short-term stock picking, you know, is not good. I mean, look at the recent long positions. DFIN, fail. RXN, fail. CPAA, fail. GIII, fail. So just things are just not working like they should. And then on the opposite end, the stocks I do not take long, for instance, let's say last night, I flagged very decided to pass on it after looking it up and looking at the financials and everything. I flagged BFAM, but passed on it because it reversed too far off its intraday high. I flagged KIN, but decided, you know what, the chart's just a little too erratic for me. Whoops. And instead, I bought stocks that all moved lower today, including the best acting one, VST. So what are you going to do? Worse off, on five days ago, T DC, TH, looked like this. This is a long signal. Showed up in a max screen bot for five day scan, price volume bot, surge scan, and my tertiary scan. By using the four cent low a day as my stop, DCTH could have been a new long position. But this summer has been so weird that I decided to pass on it because it's so extended from its 20 day moving average and 10 day moving average. If I just would have used the four cents as my final stop, everything would have been perfect because the stock never violated it. And now five days later, DCTH is up 350% without me. So like I said, stock picker is broken. So keep that in mind as we go through the new long positions. I only have one of high quality, WFM. This was in my high price stock scan, my new 52-week high scan, and my price volume bop surge scan, can then in my also my tertiary scan. This looks like an earnings winner, but we all know it's been bought up by Amazon. Amazon stock is very, very bullish. Any dip appears to be a viable opportunity. And while this chart doesn't look too good and the stock's even extended from its 15, 200 day moving average is if I look at Amazon's chart combined with Whole Foods market, and I now know that it's eventually Whole Foods market will be trading like Amazon, which means it'll be a high growth stock also. It makes sense to go long here, especially seeing the way that it looks. I easily think this can get back to its 2015 and 2013 highs now that it's really Amazon.com. So it's more of a play on Amazon, but this is a beautiful technical pattern. I want to get long. Limit order 43.26. First stop right there, 42.74. Second stop right there, 41.75. And then for now, the third and final stop is 38.29. Emergency stop only, that stop will never, ever come into play. If this fails, I'll be out of a third. If this fails, I'm out of two-thirds of the stock. Whatever the next low is, that's going to get half a stop raise. If it violates this low on heavy volume or loses that max green bot, I'm out. I'm completely out. Whatever the next low is, I'm out. So like I said, this is an emergency third stop to give the stock room to potentially work higher in case it doesn't move higher immediately. So 42.74. 4175, 3829 are my three stops. Limit order 4326. Like I said, it's in three scans. It's extended from every single moving average, and so is Amazon. If you go look at Amazon, you can even see it's extended from its five and ten day moving average. Not to mention its 20 day moving average looks like it's just touching the bottom of its candle wick. So it's an extended stock. So instead of 3%, 1.5%. And with those tight stops, if I'm wrong, trust me, I'll lose nothing to potentially get this thing to move back into the mid 50s, if not much higher now that it's Amazon.com. Then I have three speculative long positions. Want to just go over the two swing trades very quick. ENRJ. Uh, this thing works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. But however, the support is so close to my entry that this play is to me is worth it. 28 cent entry, 26 cent first stop, 25 cent final stop. First goal, 47 cents, then 64 cents, then a dollar fifteen. That's how I'm playing ENRJ. Then there's XBIT. XBIT 
beautiful following this nasty, nasty session. Appears to have found a floor. I still thought that was a reversal candle, but now that the stock has consolidated on lower volume and is now moving higher with a bullish candle over candle pattern with all that max green bop, I have some clear support, so I want to get long. XBIT at 448. First cut loss, 408. Second cut loss, 375. And then I'm even going to use a third cut loss of 277, and I don't plan on it ever coming into play. But I recommend that if you do play this one, only 408, only 375. First profit target is this high right here, 567. Next profit target is going to be, I guess, the 50-day moving average, 944. And then for now, what is that, 1185? 1185 is then the next profit target. And then the highest quality speculative stock, SQ&S. This was in my max green bot for 5-day scan and in my green bot for 20-day scan. Beautiful move right off the 50-day moving average. Volume is strong in the session before, but there is no real volume surge. Um, it's not a high-quality stock. It's low price. It's kind of liquid, but it doesn't trade like it's very liquid. So I don't know. The rules say 2%. 1% for BOP scan, 1% for the other BOP scan. So that's what I'm doing. I think it might be a little insane, but that's all right. I got some tight stops. So I want to get long. Limit order of 412. The high day since it's touching its 20-day moving average. First cut loss level 385. Final cut loss level 380. It moves below 380. I'll be completely out of SQNS. All right, that's all I got for Thursday. SQNS is the best speculative position. ENRJ has and XBIT have the best potential upside, but are also the riskiest. And Whole Foods Market is the highest quality, but I don't know really how much it can move. But now, if it's going to start trading and tracking Amazon, it's possible it could move quite a bit.